Hi, welcome to this uh, Arc Linux system. It's the Plasma, but the video is not about Plasma. There are 15 desktops and it's all Arch Linux based. It's Arc Linux with 15 desktops and they all are uh, counting on the fact that Pacman is there, the package manager. And if I do an update on this system, maybe that shows what this is all about. When I update the system, I see something you don't have. I see here repo extra large, right? This is something new that I've just created. So let's get the update in and a scale and afterwards the CP, you know the drill. But um, the thing is that this, um, this repo is not available for you. If you do a clean installation in middle of, of um, December, you'll get the new ISOs then everything will be uh, well added to the list. Now, if you missed the video, if you did not see the video that you can add a repo, doesn't really change a thing either. But it's, it's there, it's gonna be there, it's gonna stay there because uh, more and more packages are growing in size and we have a limitation on GitHub and that's 100 megabyte, that's the max. So there are applications that will become the, the application that we use on our systems will grow. And so we have an alternative. So it's a future proof uh, thinking that we have a new repo there for the extra large packages. Hence the name, of course. Now, so how do you, if you want to get this and what can you get today with this new repo? There is something new you can install and it's called WPS Office. So it's an... Uh, Windows-like uh, presentation, present and, and, and uh, a PowerPoint, the word and Excel, right? It's these three guys. And if you know your Excel, then if you look through all these icons, you say, whoa, I will find my way because it's exactly the same thing, but it's not Microsoft, it's WPS. So that's um, in here in the extra large, it's uh, about 300 megabyte, I think, on there. So it can, can never go on uh, GitHub, it's way too big. So hence our future-proof thinking, adding these guys in. Well, let's do it. If you go to Super Shift Enter, is one of our short keyboard shortcuts, and we tend to use them everywhere on all our systems. And you go to ETC, you go to Scale, and you have here the most important part of your system. Remember, this is the ETC Scale not going there i need to go to the pacman.conf this is the file that's going to govern your package manager called pacman double click it open it up with a editor you like but basically make sure you can write into it so it's in a protected part of your system and we're going to change things in here used to be something about submicron and it was already hashtagged out depending on the, the version you have and how uh, well up to date you are but um, this guy of course you you just keep out of these guys because this is the testing so when I develop I open up the repo for the testing so this is the normal look and you just make sure that you have the extra large that's the only thing that changes all the rest is the same all these two lines are always the same it's just the end of the name that changes repo repo testing repo third party extra large so just type it in extra large no capital letters Control s save it i will save it as well so my testing repo is gone Control t or in our case f12 and then we update our system up eight will work as well typos are okay we make typos so the testing is gone the repo is there with the signage uh, third party signing and x large sign now what do we get with that extra repo well at this point in time like i said just this guy wps now how do you know that in a quick um, way use pamic pamic aur and it often is update discover is something for plasma but software update is the name for and of course on the other screen um, for um, Pamek AUR. So you can these days have a drop down because uh, 
well, these applications get updated and they change over time. And we see here the Arch Linux repo extra large. So the only thing you can install is the fonts for WPS, the office itself, and the MIME files that provide it uh, with it. And the languages, I kept away from the languages. English is just fine for me. So there you are. Um, that's all you need to do. Like I said, if you don't do it, no problem. There is no, no need to do it. It's just fun to do it. And you get something in return. You get a WPS office you can try out. And uh, maybe I'll show you one more so you know what the look is for this word. Environment alternative. All right? So there you are. You are. Um, this applies to any system we have. It's not just Plasma, it's all the desktops. Um, so go and, and change it in order to have this easy installation. Of course, oops, wrong button here. Of course, you can do a Control T uh, again on the other screen, of course. Hopla, here you need it. Yay. And then WPS Office. Of course, you can install it this way, but it was way too long to build. I didn't like it that it was taking so long. 428 people said great. Um, that's the version it's installed. Um, so basically it was carrying it around because it is about 250 gigabytes. Maybe include, let's include that in the video as well. Uh, close window, super shift enter. How big is it? VAR, cache, Pacman, packages. All your packages are here. These are all your packages. And WPS, is it installed or is it installed via, via the system? Ah, it is in here, great. So 260.8, you see it at the bottom here. In, in here, you'll see it, 260. So I was carrying that around in my, my Google Drive or Dropbox or anything um, cloud-like and installing it later on. But now we have a repo to just get it, sudo pacman minus s. That's actually the point why we're making it. So in a script after clean installation, all I do is this. And we have all the WPS stuff. Don't forget the TTF WPS thing. And that's it. And then you have three things and you can start working. All right, enjoy.